And a lot of fireworks will be going off tonight in celebration of the 4th of July, but the loud noises, flashing lights, and strong smells can be very scary for our four-legged friends. So Malou Nubla chatted with an expert who has more on how to keep your pets safe and happy during the festivities. Well, the 4th of July is always packed with fireworks and a lot of fun, but those fireworks can also cause some anxiety for our four-legged friends. So dog behavior consultant Michelle Stern joins us right now with some tips. Hi, Michelle. Hi, nice to see you. You too. So, I mean, it's understandable that dogs get anxiety with fireworks. I mean, kids do too. A lot of adults even, you know, it, it just it kind of scares you. It really does. And I think what's so frightening for dogs is that the fireworks appear to come out of nowhere. So at least with a thunderstorm, a lot of dogs feel a difference in barometric pressure. And so even though those can be really scary, you can prepare for that ahead of time. But fireworks just kind of happen in a surprise. Yeah. yeah. So what can you do to help dogs and pets? Well, what's pretty interesting actually is that shelters tend to be overflowing with dogs the day after 4th of July because so many dogs panic and just run out of the house. And it's terrifying and a lot get hit by cars. It's really terrible. Oh. So the first recommendation that I would love to make is for you to find a really safe place for your dog inside the house. So don't bring them with you to barbecues and festivals where you're going to see people running around and making noise, but it's best to leave them home. Now, ideally, Ideally, we try to pick a room somewhere in the interior of your house. So somewhere that doesn't have a lot of windows, that doesn't have a lot of doors, or they might be able to sneak out if someone forgets to latch the door. Yes. So these inside rooms can keep things a little bit quieter. So that's the first step. So there's one trick that I love to recommend for families, and that's to use one of those old fashioned box fans. I think you know what I'm talking about. You can get them at any hardware store and you plug them in and they tend to disrupt sound waves. And so if you plug in a box fan, when you know there's really scary sounds outside that can sort of diffuse that, which can help the dog to be more relaxed. I would never even guess that. Oh, those box fans actually relax me. <laughs> Well, that's great. See, it's a win-win then. The <laughs> other thing that I really recommend is that we make sure that our dogs have identifying information on them just in case they get out. So that your microchip is current, that it's registered to your address. And if your dog isn't microchipped, then just make sure that their collar is on securely so it doesn't slip off and that you have a tag that has a phone number so that the people can reach you if they should find your dog. One other suggestion I think would be to set up an interior camera. And you can buy any kind of camera that are really inexpensive these days. You could even use an old iPad and you could FaceTime your phone, which is pretty amazing. I know there's all kinds of hacks. But <laughs> if you can watch your dog, then you can tell if your dog is panicked or if they're relaxed. So if you're out and you realize your dog is having a really hard time, then you might have to cut the fun short and come home early. Great ideas and great tips. You know, I, I thought you were going to say, Michelle, for some of the tips that there was a way that you could actually get them used to those sounds. Well, well, okay, so here's the thing. Depending on when you start to prepare your dog, you can do some preparation. So you can go to YouTube, for example, or find something online where you can hear fireworks sounds and you can start to get your dog used to those slowly, very quietly on low volumes, maybe on the other side of the room. And we try to pair those with treats for your dog so okay. that we can try to build a positive emotional response to those scary sounds. And then over time, you can make them louder, you can get the dog closer, but again, keeping them positive, lots of really great treats and cookies for your dog. But that does take some time. So if yeah. 4th of July is happening right now and you haven't done it, then we can get you ready for next year. <laughs> but in the meantime, for this year, let's keep your dog safe inside the house where they can't really hear the scary stuff. Great tips, Michelle. Thank you. Have a safe and happy 4th. Thank you. Same to you.